Hey gang, uh, the Roybert here. So I recently started um, practicing trading, day trading on a, on the Thinkorswim platform, and <clears throat> I'm using the paper trading, and I'm not using real money yet. And one of the limitations uh, I found was that uh, I'll I'll give you two. One of them is really tragic. Uh, one of the limitations was that it won't allow you to trade after hours, um, even though it has all the uh, buttons and bells and whistles. To do so, it won't place the orders. Um, I found a way around that. In fact, I found a way to, uh, to put in an order any time of day or night. Um, I also found a way to put in um, uh, shorts uh, that, don't, they, that aren't available for you to borrow. Um, just so you could learn what shorts will do, it's it's complicated. Borrowing them is fine if you're if the uh, if the resource has them for you to borrow. But if they don't, then they send you on uh, they send you on a goose hunt and you pay to borrow them. So, um, for instance, on this on this on this app, um, uh, Chipotle uh, is is. I can borrow that. If I have the capital to back it up, it's very expensive. It's over $3,000 a share. So there's a story behind that, too. Um, but um, a, a different share like that's very popular, like, say, AMC, um, I, I asked, and it said no. So I said, uh, well, no is not the answer I want. So um, I used the back door, and um, I'm going to show you how to do it. You pick your stock and you m make a buy order. It doesn't matter what what form because it's not going to go through. You just want it to show up on your uh, on your menu of positions. Okay, then once it's on positions, it will say zero 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 quantity and and uh, you haven't spent anything on it. And um, if you go all the way to the right side of the stock you will see a little menu, a little tiny menu all the way at the end. If you click on that, there are, op there are options up at the top that let you adjust position. When you do that, it opens a window that lets you plug in how many shares you want, up or down, it doesn't matter, and the thing will just accept them. So you pick how much you want, you click on it, you go back to the stock on your options, uh, I mean on your positions page, and uh, there they will be. Then there's the little icon that says buy uh, on the left, and you just click on that and cancel order, and it leaves behind the stock in the position that you chose. You can do that on the weekend, you can do that in the middle of the night, you can do that after hours while the while the market is still going you can actually do it during the day as well but you if you're trying to simulate real trading you probably want to use the the normal path um, it doesn't give you any notifications it doesn't go bling. it doesn't do any of that when the sale goes through it just changes your position and <clears throat> bam you're you're in whatever you wanted okay Item number two. This one is really annoying. <coughs> there is a thing that happens if you're if you watch penny stocks, which I which I am doing. Um, it seems like every day there's one that's like a blowout. It 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 it's ten cents, and then the next morning it's nine dollars, and. Um, I like to do swing trading, so I was buying penny stocks, a stack of them, like five or six of them, the night before, and the next morning, one of them would like give me thousands of dollars, and I thought I was on to something great, so I started like trying to like decipher how I can pick those guys and know I'm right, and I did it four times, and I made thousands of dollars, and I'm like, what am I doing right? What, what is causing that? And I got all tied up in how can I make those fast, explosive changes. 
I figured it out. Uh, because of NVIDIA, I, uh, I, I was looking into uh, splits, and I discovered reverse splits. And it turns out these pennies do these reverse splits. Now, the thing that's so infuriating about what happened here is that reverse splits aren't going to give you thousands of dollars on your on your penny stocks. A reverse split is kind of just exactly what you think it is, the opposite of a forward split. In a forward split, one stock becomes 10 or whatever. Um, in a reverse split, 10 stocks become one. It's a consolidation. But what the software doesn't do is subtract how many shares you have. In the real world, in a real trade, if you get in with a thousand shares and the stock goes up and it leaves you with 85 shares, it throws away 915 shares. It doesn't leave them in your possession all at the higher value, making thousands of dollars. This is what Thinkorswim does. I called them and I tried to complain and they, they acted like, oh, don't worry about it, it's just the paper trading. I'm like, it's a simulator and it's simulating something that is unreal. And people who don't know what they're doing are trying to learn on the simulator and it's telling them they can make thousands of dollars if they pick just the right penny stock the day before. So once I figured out the secret, I just looked up all of the reversals and I put them all on my calendar and day after day, in like 16 days, I made $389,000. I'm like, how is this happening? I, this, this can't be real. So I went to my Schwab account and I placed a real order with real money just to test my theory and sure enough, it took away the stocks. Okay, so the bottom line is the paper trade platform is, is flawed in such a way that you can be deceived. Um, that seems like a tragic flaw to me because we're all being misled. Those of us who are stumbling on that are being misled. And without doing some research and finding out what really happens, you, you don't know. You just live in the dream for a minute. Okay. I'm sure there's other things about Thinkorswim that I want to complain about. But for now, um, that'll do it.